Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Melina with Me Crafty Scrapper on Instagram and here on YouTube. Today I wanted to come to you and share the way that I am putting together a new faith journal. Uh, I am using, for the very first time ever, Happy Planner Discs. And I have the Arc Punch that I'll be using. And if you have never used a disc bound system, um, this is the type of holes that that arc punch will punch out for me. And then you put them together like this. That disc has a little ridge on both sides. And that is how you bind your little book that you make. Um, but I'm going to, I've been uh, faith journaling in traveler's notebooks and I've decided that I wanted uh, just for a little bit to try this. Um, I've seen so many people, uh, creative paper crafters that are using the happy planner system, the disc bound system. There's others besides happy planner, but anyways, using discs um, to put their journals together and even planners. And, um, I wanted to try it out. So I got the arc, um, punch off of Amazon. Uh, also got these, let's see, I think I got these. No, I'll figure out where I got these <laughs> from. Uh, I want to say that I got them off Amazon also. These are the metal ones. They also have plastic ones. These are the rose gold. Um, no, I know where I, I got these. I was at Hobby Lobby one day and they had them uh, on one of their, you know, clearance sale kind of things. And so I got those at Hobby Lobby. Um, I am going to be cutting these. The two white pieces are my covers and I'll be decorating those, of course. And um, then these, and I'll be making more of these. This is two, just two gray sheets that I had in my um, stash. And these are the pages that um, I'll be decorating. But the covers, this is just the size that I'm making it. You can make it any size you want, um, as big as that looks like. As big as eight and a half by 11. Let's look here. That is, oh yeah, you could do, you could easily do an 11 inch, yeah, an 11 inch book, bound book with this. So, but I'm going to be using, these covers are four and three eighths by eight and a quarter. So eight and a quarter by four and three eighths. And the reason I made it a little odd there is because in a standard size traveler's notebook, if I ever wanted to take this somewhere, if I don't laminate the covers, which is a really good idea, you can laminate the covers. But um, if I don't laminate the covers and I wanted to take this somewhere, um, I could protect it here, put this in here, and after I've bound it, the disc would be there, and then it would just fold over like that, and you could carry it in a traveler size, uh, traveler's notebook standard size with these measurements. Um, more than likely, if you're going to use a traveler size notebook, though, a traveler's notebook. I don't know why I keep saying size in the middle of that. A traveler's notebook, uh, standard size, you would need a standard wide just because of the disc, or you would need a standard notebook with a wider uh, spine on it. This is just a one inch spine. I got this lovely leather, gray leather uh, cover from Christina's Leather on Facebook. But if I ever want to put it in something, I can do that. And that is why I made this at eight and a quarter because it, if I made it any taller, it wouldn't have fit in that. It would have been sticking out of the top of it. So that's my covers. And then each sheet that I'll be decorating and journaling on 
is four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So my pages are as tall as the covers, but the cover comes out just that eighth of a inch wider than the pages are, okay? And then when you are using the punch, you'll want to make sure that everything is flush to the left. And then what I'm gonna do is get a clip, a binder clip, and I am going to clip them together right there so they don't move when I put them in the arc punch. Now, I have only punched one sheet before now. And so we will see, this is four sheets of cardstock. So we'll see how this works. Um, I have the guide. I have it right here at the end so that I am going to be punching, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll be punching eight slots in this size of cardstock. All right, so I am pushing and I'm getting resistance. So I'm gonna take out and I'm just gonna punch two at a time. Okay. So there is my covers. I'm putting it in and not getting any resistance. So I'm gonna set that in there and I know that this part probably is blurry for you. Um, just because it is so close to my camera, but I hope that you are able to see this. I'm gonna try to get it all in frame for you, at least the part where the paper is. Okay, so I am pushing all the way, and it is stopping at the backs of the punch holes. So I'm making sure I'm all the way on the guide at the bottom. My papers are together here. And I'm just going to push down. <clears throat> and it tried to lock on me. That's why it didn't come up straight away. Because it tried to lock on me. So I just unlocked it. And then there are my two covers punched. Very cute. I love that. Alright. And now... Here are two pages, and like I said, I'll be adding a whole lot more pages, but um, that is my two pages right there. I'm making sure that they're lined up and even before I sit them in this, and I'm gonna turn it a little this way so maybe you can see those punched holes just a little easier. All right, two pieces of cardstock. They slide very well, there's no resistance. So I'm gonna slide those all the way to the back until they stop, and then all the way down on my guide. And I am making sure that before I punch that I have the same amount of space at the bottom here as I will at the top there, so that you don't get a half punch on any of these like here up at the top, okay? So eight punched holes and here we go there they are all right so let's see here let me look that one's a little shorter but it will still work in there um you can that's the thing about happy planner you can make things the pages that you put in, you can make them shorter, taller, wider, but you just have to make sure that your um, punched holes are lined up correctly, okay? That was just my sample page that I started before the video just to make sure that I knew how to use my arc punch before I started using my arc punch on video because that would have been lovely trying to get that started on video. All right, so I've got my cover 
two pages and the, the back cover there. And I'm going to try to start this. And that was very easy. There's that first one. All right. And probably works a little better if you don't try to do all of them at the same time. Hey, this is my very first time using a disc, disc bound method system, whatever. So learning as I go. Okay. So there are all of the discs on all four sheets and the thicker it gets the more level these discs will be and when you lay your book down if it's a little bit thicker then those discs are not going to lay over like that but i've got all four sheets in this and see when you open it up they're all standing up for you and it slides it glides very easily and I wanted to show you a few other things that I put in it before I get off here um, this was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven come in a happy planner pack so you get 11 rings. Um, I want to show you how I could put in some of the Project Life type cards. Let me get a few of those. Okay, so here are some Project Life cards. And I do believe all of these are from a Felicity Jane kit. Yes, they are because hers has the grid patterns on the back. So these are all Felicity Jane three by four cards that I happened to pick up from my little stash up top. And I'm gonna put that over to the side and let's see. Okay, so these are three by four. Let's see here. Oh yeah, okay. So that would be pretty even. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to raise that bottom guide there up just a little bit and we're going to see if we can even that out some okay it's up too far so I'm going to come down just a little bit let's see what that looks like and up just a touch And probably anybody else that does disc bound system is not as particular as I am, but I'm pretty particular. So what I'm doing, trying to accomplish here and see that also, look at there, there's my little punched out pieces. Um, that's where you empty it out. What I'm trying to accomplish here is the same amount of space at the top as at the bottom, okay? That's what I'm trying to accomplish there. So, and you could, when you get through punching these, you can put them anywhere in the book. I'll show you in just a minute. But anyway, here's how I'm wanting to get that punched. I'm just gonna do one card at a time now that I've got my guide at the bottom where I want it. And I have the right amount of space on top and bottom and I won't get a half punch up here. I am ready to punch these. So let's go ahead and do all five of these.
Okay. So there are all five of those, and I, I giggle because I love pulling that up, and every one of those punched holes are exactly where I punched them. They're all lined up together. I love that. I'm very particular about stuff like that. So you can add these all together at the same time, or you can add them in between um, your pages, or like you could add them at the front if you wanted to. So here is one. Okay. And so see, I got it just a touch up from the bottom and then that way um, it's not uh, too far down. Like if you're going to, um, you don't want this little card, the bottom of it to be below your book. So see, if you wanted to leave this up top, up front, it might look even better to leave two at the bottom, two at the top. And then do it like that and have it right in the middle. So you can do that. And we can add these anywhere or you can add them all together. And I think I'm just gonna go right down the middle again with that. I love that. And see, so you could do a layout here and then a layout there and match the colors that you do here and here with the colors that's in this card. And you could put pictures, whatever in your layouts and then journal on this or this would be a little perfect spot for a circle picture right there i love that so there's that one let's put in some more here okay that is so cute oh my all you happy planner and disbound veterans out there giggling at me or rolling your eyes one, whichever, I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm very tickled about this. Okay, I wanna try something different with this one. All right, I want to do this one at the bottom. Okay. And then this one up top. See, this is a perfect size to get your three by four cards in on this. Oh, I love that. That is so cute. <laughs> it's like a split page. I love it. I love that. Okay. Of course, who knows? I'm probably not going to leave this stuff like this, but... You know, just for tutorial purposes, I am putting that there and thought that was very, very cute. And you can add little tip-ins. You know, those could be tip-ins. You could add all kinds of stuff to this. Um, this one, like I said, this was my trial page that I did right before I got on video just to make sure that I knew how to use my arc punch because right before I started this video is when I opened my arc punch. Um, Happy Planner does have their own brand of punch. Um, I had just heard really, really good things about the arc punch, so that's why I got that one. Um, that would be a cool matte page have that gray as the mat and have that there. So see, you can add all sorts of little pieces. Um, that one is wider. Let's do, let's do a page, not taller. We don't want taller, but let's do eight and a quarter by three and a half. So, eight and a quarter by three and a half. I can't even see my 
God, Mark. Okay. So, I'm going to line this up. Now, look, if I were to leave the guide where it is, I would be almost in this punched hole here, so I don't want that. So, I'm going to move it down because I moved it up because of the little cards that I was doing. I'm going to move this down, and I'm wanting to get the same. Yep. same space there as there and I do believe that is correct so let's punch that one now if you have little ones um, you'll want to lock this when you're not using it and when you're not in the room not supervising them you just lock that and put it on a high shelf somewhere <laughs> so they can't get to it but that's lock and unlock on the arc punch okay so here is that little sheet and see it's going to be a lot shorter than the actual pages that i'm going to be adding to this but just to show you that all of them don't have to be the same width you can add all types of sizes widths everything in here I just don't want to add anything taller than what my covers are okay so there's just a few things that I have added into this and can you imagine doing some mixed media um, art journaling in here and getting this all good and chunky I can't wait to get that accomplished but there is just some of the pages that we have added in here. And like I said, as long as I'm holding it correctly, it's um, gliding really easily. No problem whatsoever on the gliding part. And I have always heard really good things about Happy Planner, but I had never tried it myself. So I'm really, really loving this. Um, I have heard of people, like I said earlier, laminating their covers, decorating this, of course, not too bulky because when you laminate it, you don't need it too bulky, but um, decorating the covers, um, you know, I could put faith journal or whatever, that's what this one's going to be, and um, just laminate that, then I would just repunch it through the lamination and put those on and it would make your covers a lot more sturdy that way. Um, you can also layer up that's cute you can layer up the things that you put in journaling there picture there I think possibilities are endless I was watching a youtuber um, not long ago where she was saying she had moved from a traveler's notebook she had moved from that to um, disc bound and the reason why she was moving doing that move is because she wanted to um, be able to add things like if she finished a particular lesson a Bible lesson or whatever um, she was doing at that particular time if she finished that lesson and say her lesson was on these two pages this little partial page and that back cover and she did all of her journaling and her notes and scripture writing and all that she did all of that in her traveler's notebook and then turned the page okay you're done unless you want to put in a tip in in this you're done with a traveler's notebook but with disc bound if she had another thought about that journal spread or that entry, that layout, she could go back and go, okay, I had another thought about this, write about it, and then add it to that spread. So it would just be another layer to that spread. Or she could even add in a whole new page 
for that lesson. So that really appealed to me when I heard her say that, that, you know, I love my traveler's notebooks. I will still use my traveler's notebooks. This is just something that I wanted to try, something new, and I'm really looking forward to it. I like what I'm seeing so far. Um, at first, when I saw Happy Planner and I saw the big disc, I thought, oh gracious, that's just going to get in my way. And I might still think that on down the line, but right now, I'm really enjoy enjoying this. I wanted to see what it looks like if I were to add it in here. Now, granted, that spine is not nearly big enough for these discs. These are the medium discs. Now, there's minis, there's medium, and then there's expanders. These are the medium. And I think once you start off, you could really go with the minis until you got it all good and chunky thick. Okay, so that fits in there, kind of like a Hobonichi cover. It fits in there, just slides in the back. That back cover is slid in that back. And if you had a full pocket on that back of your cover, you know, it would fit even better. This is just a secretarial pocket. Okay, and then, like I said, that spine really needs to be thicker to be able to hold that, but you can tell that that would work if that spine was a bit wider. So I will have to talk to Miss Christina at Christina's Leather and get her to make me a standard wide with a two inch spine because this one, yeah, this one's a one inch spine. So if I got her to do me a two inch spine and did a standard wide, that would work with that. So I am very excited to start this and I will be doing some videos on processes of my journal itself and journal entries. So when I get it all set up, I will do another video. I just wanted to show you how I set this up. And oh, I just noticed my nails go with my rose gold disc. I love that. <laughs> I will be showing another video when I get this all set up like I want it and start doing my faith journaling in it. So, thank you so much for stopping by and watching me in my first ever Happy Planner Disc and Art Punch bound book. <laughs> in this bound book. Um... If you have any tips or pointers, if you love disc bound, if you have any tips, please leave them for me in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it because I know I will continue learning and learning and learning what all happens and what all the great advantages are to the happy planner or disc bound in general book binding system. So... Thanks, guys. Y'all have a great day. See ya. Bye, y'all.